record. Hello, welcome back. I thought I would do a follow-up to my first look, and these are my thought my thoughts. Uh, whether they actually hold any weight or not, I don't know. Uh, I'll be honest, when I play these games, I usually play the lizard men or the dwarves, where you can get a, a, a decent front line, right? Backed up by a you know cavalry and large units, or a decent back line and artillery, or uh, something along those lines. Um, and I have noticed something. So this is turn forty-five. These are essentially you know first-tier units, right? These are first-tier units, and the Krokar army here, right? Maybe a couple of cavalry. So you know tier two-ish, three-ish. Uh, a dinosaur, which admittedly does push the envelope, and these are all tier, tier two units. But you know, this is still what one would call an early army for the most part, and that is fine. You know, uh, oh, he's already got his revered spear. He's you know, their lord is level six. You know, my main lord is level seven. She's got some magic items. Uh. You know, I've got a secondary lord. I've got two armies versus his one. It's mostly, you know, again, all tier... <coughs> Excuse me, tier... You know, this is the best I managed. 45 turns in, mind you. You know, I managed to get a full territory, finally. I've taken another territory, sort of. And I'm working my way towards... You know, at turn 45, let me... S well, no, I'm probably going to restart this, to be honest. You know, a full save here. Um, the issue I'm finding is... And, and I've started a third army. Look at that. I've got three armies. Potentially. Because, again, two kings doesn't cost to recruit, and you don't have to pay upkeep. But what I am finding is... Whereas, as a Saurus, you can build unlimited Saurus with spears and shields, and warriors with shields, you know. I'm limited to, again, these are the starting units, right? So this is one step up. This is the second units you can recruit. He's got two cavalry. Granted, I only have one. But this might or might not come into play, and I'll... At best, I can recruit two Nekahara warriors. Alright? Nekahara warriors. Two. And if I were to fight this, despite the fact that I outnumber him two to one, these skeleton warriors... We'll just get trounced. I'm gonna... Um, I do believe... Yeah, it's his turn. Let's see where he goes. Let me fast forward. I'm finding that the units for... I, I understand their starting units being super... So look, look at this. Despite the fact that I have two armies... You know, because I can only get essentially two equivalents to his Saurus warriors with shields. This one army is going to demolish my undead army. And I'll be honest, uh, I'm quick saving. Because if I auto this, we're dead. Boom. So maybe I could have won. I don't know. I'll probably replay that on my own. But I got wiped out. <coughs> and I'm finding that's a real problem. I understand the skeleton warriors being really weak. But because that is your main unit for the first 50 to 60 turns, and there's very little, at least at my skill level, I can do about it, it's very hard to get anywhere as a tomb king because you're losing 
you know, on average, your first two fights, your first three fights, you're, you're, you're getting trounced whether you want to or not, just because there's literally nothing you can do. Um, I'm, I'm not saying... Uh, it, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. If a developer ever sees this video, I highly doubt that. I would suggest these tier... Like, tier yeah, so these, these tier 2 units. Just... Uh, if I go into building browser here, you know, as opposed to only two chariots, four. As opposed to four skeleton archers, six. As opposed to uh, skeleton archer chariots, two of those is fine. Maybe two screaming skull catapults as opposed to one. For the for the Nekahara warriors, I would say four, not two. Uh, tomb guards, um, you know, two of each, maybe, would be fine. For skeleton horse archers, I would say, um, maybe four of these for each of the archers. For the, um, Nekahara horsemen, two. For the stalkers, two. For the knights, two. For the Knights with Halberds, you know, maybe at this level you get three and two. These, I would say, the Ushtabi, I don't know how good they are. So keep them the same. The Constructs, keep them the same. Because I understand those are the heavy hitters. But these basic infantry units, at least tiers one to three, double them. Otherwise, I'm going to be honest, to me anyways, it feels like for the Tomb Kings, like, this is supposed to be a normal challenge, I'm finding it brutal on normal compared to any of the other races. It's just, you know, like I said, the, the, the easiest thing to do, I feel, and like I said, I may restart this, is get that third dynasty build two armies of nothing but skeletal warriors and spearmen and any army you meet you throw your two sacrificial armies in let them get wiped out do as much damage as they can and then you throw in your main army so it literally turns into all right i've got two meat grinder armies and another army now I i'm sure this changes at higher levels but i and I'll, it just seems like a weird way to balance it. The fact that I need three armies to compare to one army of any other given race for the first 30 or 40 turns. You know, and, and I understand the fact that, you know, if I build, you know, um, four crypt barracks... Then I'll have access to 16 archers and 8 Nekahara warriors. But I, I don't feel like I'm going to have the space. Like, I guess I could build it, you know, here, here, and here. It's just because I've got so little income, you know, it's just it's, it, there's too many bottlenecks. So maybe, maybe it isn't best. Maybe just increase the income a little from the, from the monuments. Just... Some, something, it feels like there are so many bottlenecks that the Tomb Kings don't feel good playing in the early game. And I'll be honest, I haven't gotten past the early game yet. So, I, I feel they need to change that. They may, they may not. I would like them to. Again, these are my thoughts. This is how I feel. I, I, I'm fully aware that, you know, once I get to mid-game or even late-game, they could become nearly an unstoppable force. It's just, you know, by turn 45 with any other race, I feel like, all right, I'm getting somewhere. I'm doing things. I, you know, I've got, I've, got a, I've got decent armies. Maybe I have two decent armies. I'm working on a second decent army. Even with the Skaven, you know, I'm getting territory, that sort of thing. And with the Kings... It's just, just brutal grinding early game. It's like, all right, I, I've created an army. Throw it in. All right, it dies. Throw, create another one. Throw that in. All right, that dies. 
and I'll may maybe increase the the rate at which they can recruit the first the, the skeleton warriors and all their cheap units maybe maybe they have a just just the skeleton warriors and the skeleton um if I, oh these are warriors here the skeleton spearmen maybe you can recruit them two at a time because it takes me seven turns to get an army up and going so once i use a sacrificial army well now i've got to wait seven turns so if, if, if that is their point that i need to you know, use false art like sacrificial armies as meat grinders you know make it so these you know keep the number keep the income but make it so these first units are recruited oh, if i can select them again two at a time so it encourages me to all right well i'll make i've got my main army here full of my good units and now i've got this other army that's full of just skeleton warriors and skeleton spearmen boom 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 three turns later all right go you know i can i can keep up with other armies that sort of thing it just like i said it just feels like too much it's it's at least in the early game it feels like it's it's too much clawing and scraping to f and this is on normal to feel like you can get somewhere with these guys and again I, I will admit it may be down to the fact that i suck at playing but with the lizard men you know 46 turns in on normal with crocker when i play as him i've usually got this entire southern section and i'm on my second army and i am just plowing through working my way to the north you know <clears throat> you know with the skaven on normal i'm usually you know 45 turns in i've got this whole section i'm working on my third army and i feel like i'm getting somewhere and that sort of thing the high elves they're a little tricky but i feel like i'm getting somewhere I can, you know, I've usually got a, a, a few extra sections here with the, and I'm working on my second and third army. With the Dark Elves, the same thing. You know, I've got, by 45, 46 turns in, I've got two or three territories, and I'm working on my second or third army, and I feel like I'm getting somewhere. But with the Tomb Kings, 40, you know, 46, 45 turns in, you know, I just... I lost five armies to basic undead units just to get these three townships. You know, to get to these three territories to get this province. And then, you know, I've got two armies and he rolls in and boom, they're gone. That's it. Alright, well now I've got to wait you know, 24 more turns to rebuild. And in that time, he's going to roll in and just wipe out probably this entire territory. So uh, this is essentially a loss. So like I said, maybe maybe just increase the rate at which Skeleton Wars is maybe like three at a time. So any, any other unit, you know, one, one turn. These guys, because there's... Boom, you get three of them. And only, you know, only these units. And the idea is that you do build one or two sacrificial armies that you can just throw at people and not have to worry about. And you have that one main army. Because I'm telling you right now, you know, if the best I can make is tier two units, two tier two units, 30 or 40 turns in, I expect those two tier tier two units to be the, the two of them to be equivalent to four or five times as many units of the same tier of any other faction. They should make an impact. And the Nekahara warriors do not. You know, the chariots, if I'm only getting two of them and they're tier one, I expect them to make an impact. Because these do nothing. And they don't. So it feels like you're getting nowhere fast 
with very little gain, and it's just frustrating to me. I still plan to play through a, a, a Tomb King campaign, but I, I, I'm telling you right now, at least for me, they need to change the balance somehow for the Tomb Kings. But the, again, these are just my thoughts. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Feel free to, if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, or follow button, or leave a comment. You can tell me how much I suck. I understand. I suck with the Tomb Kings. I completely, you know, accept that fact. It could be all down to my playing style. But they just feel like you're working too hard to get too little. Whereas with any other faction, you know, if I choose normal setting with a lord that says I'm fighting at a normal difficulty, I feel like I'm getting somewhere at a reasonable pace. And this, this just feels like brutal to me. So, and take that as you will. Thank you for watching. And, you know, feel free to hop on over to my stream sometime. Every Wednesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Barring, you know, sickness or emergencies or that sort of thing. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.